Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jeff the IT Guy. As promised, this is the video to where we're gonna take the NZXT Creator PC and we're gonna make it better, uh, better to my standards. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna upgrade the case. We're gonna go to the H710. Yes, it doesn't have the bling bling um, with the RGB and stuff, but it, it's larger, so it's gonna fit our hardware better. Um, it's gonna have more room for cooling and more room for hard drives. And which is a big thing when it comes to having a creator PC. And so we're gonna upgrade the case. We're also gonna upgrade the cooler to the NZXT X73. That's a 360 millimeter AIO. We're gonna upgrade all the fans to these bad boys. Oh well, we're gonna upgrade the fans to all these bad boys. This is the ML120 by Corsair. These are non uh, RGB, these are magnetic levitation fans these are awesome they're quiet they have a lot of static pressure we're going to get a lot of great cooling from that and so we've got the h710 we've got the nzxt x73 we've got better fans and lastly because this is a creator pc we're going to put another 12 terabytes of hard drive in here uh, the reason for that is because this is for creators we need that space and so which, with the H710, we're gonna be able to add another hard drive caddy, and we're actually gonna be able to have a total of four hard drives. And it happens that I have 16 terabytes. So you add three plus one, and they're all four, that's 16. So we'll have a total of 16 terabytes of hard drive space, one terabyte of NVMe, and we'll have better cooling all around the board in a bigger case. And I think it's gonna turn out really well. And after I'm done upgrading it, We'll go through and we'll look at the temperatures and we'll see if it's worth it. So stick around for that. And we are back with the upgraded um, NZXT Creator PC. And yes, I know I went with an NZXT case. You know, uh, it's gotten a lot of flack this case, this H710 and everything. But, you know, I wanted to keep it pretty close to what it would be like if, you know, this is what... NZXT had done with their creator PC, except for the fans. Um, the fans, I used what I wanted to in it. Um, and that's just me. So I went ahead and upgraded the fans um, to some Corsair. So let's, let's talk about, you know, the upgrades and everything. So putting everything in H710 here um, made it, to, to me, a lot easier to work with. The case is pretty significantly bigger um, in post, I'll put the dimensions between the H510 Elite and the H710. That way you can see, you know, just how big of a difference it is. But there is a difference between, you know, the size, the internal size and everything. I like the features of the H710. It doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, RGB or any actually, which is fine. That doesn't bother me one bit. Um, what it does have though, is it has this ventilation here that goes all the way around on both sides, so that helps increase the airflow, um, which makes it a little bit easier. Also, you know, it's really easy to remove the panels. So, like the front panel, you, it just removes like that, you have access to the dust filter and everything like that. And so they go right back on, you know. So it's not, not too bad, you know, that's pretty cool. That's a cool feature. Um, it has the ability to fit like five, 2.5 inch drives in here. You've got like one down here, two here, and then two or three on the back. You know, it's, it's wild how many two and a half inch drives you can fit on here, um, or to, in here. You know, you can actually put hard drives in this thing. So I was able to put, you know, four, four terabyte hard drives. So 16 terabytes of space, which is good if I'm creating content as well as wanting to play games. You know, games take a lot of space now, so does 4K footage, so it makes sense to have all of that extra space. Um, I think it looks really good. I think it doesn't, it doesn't look cramped. It, it looks uh, like it's proportional. The case looks proportional to everything else in my opinion, right? So, You've got the 360 millimeter ride. It doesn't look out of place. The 3090 doesn't look out of place. You know, the motherboard doesn't look out of place. It all looks proportional instead of being like, 
in a craftable package. Even though it's really cool, you know, for small form factor builds, if you're going to use, you know, mini ITX or MATX and all that. But I think these look a little bit more proportional and they, they kind of they click with me a little bit. Um, so that's pretty cool, right? Working with this case is awesome. This case has a lot of great features um, that you can go and learn about. And, you know, putting all this stuff in here was, to me, a big upgrade. So let's talk about the performance. Or actually, let's talk about what I did for the upgrades. So for the upgrades, um, you know, I just did the case, which is an H710, which I said earlier in the video. You know, I added seven 120 millimeter Corsair fans, the um, MLs, which is magnetic levitations, and a 360 millimeter NZXT radi radiator. Okay, and so you'll see that here. So let's talk about the performance, because that's really why we wanted to do this, was the performance. So upgrading the case, the fans, and the cooler on our i7 10900K dropped the, the temperatures by 10 degrees. So it may not seem too significant, but we were you know, hitting 88, 90 degrees before, and now it's sitting around you know, in the low 70s. Actually, sometimes it's more than a 10 degree difference. Um, but the highest I seen was about 78 degrees, and it also allowed it to boost up to five gigahertz. Now previously, um, you know, in the other video I did about this, it was boosting to 4.9 gigahertz. And so having that extra thermal headroom allowed us to gain just a little bit more performance um, up to five gigahertz. So that's pretty cool that we do a five gigahertz all core. Uh, that's not overclocked. I'm just letting the motherboard do what it wants to do. I haven't changed any parameters in the motherboard. Um, so just having that extra, the extra 10 degrees you know, made that big of a difference, which is pretty wild, right? Also, it helped get our GPU cooler. So the GPU um, was getting pretty hot previously. Um, you know, now it's not, well, I shouldn't say it's getting pretty hot, but now it's not getting as hot and it's boosting to like 1965, you know, 1965 megahertz on the 3090. So what's that translate to in performance gains? All right, so that translates to about two FPS in games, which isn't a lot, really. But that's two FPS that you weren't getting before. I mean, that's one way to look at it. In Oxenabench, it was um, about a, th a 2,000, 2000 point difference. You know, it went from like 13,000 and something to 15,000 and something in Cinebench. So that's pretty good. You know, in Geekbench, there was a significant gain going from this from this to what it was. So you can see just how big of a difference that thermal headroom plays. Now, if I had to do this all over again and I wasn't trying to keep it close to like actually being an NZXT PC, um, because I think it's one of the reasons that a lot of people buy these, not just because you can get the parts, but because, you know, people want the NZXT P, NZXT PC, I would put this in something like a Fantex uh, P600S. Um, you know, you can take the panels off and everything. So that's what I would have done. I would put it in like a Fantex P600S. You know, I would have used, um, if you wanted to do, use RGB fans, you could have. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of RGB anymore. You could have used RGB fans like the QLs from Corsair. Uh, you could have stuck with like the MLs you know, and not worried about the RGB, but you could put it something like the P600S, which has much, much better airflow than this, and you would have seen some really, really good um, performance gains. So that's what I would have done. Also, depending on what power supply you get with this, I got a semi-modular Seasonic, and it's struggling a little bit, so I'm considering upgrading the power supply depending on how much work it's gonna be for me. I mean, sometimes I don't wanna do stuff, so it shouldn't be that big of a job, but like I said, depending on how I'm feeling about it, I may upgrade the power supply. So, at the end of the day, we took something that was still good, we got rid of our warranty, and we gained two FPS and like 100 megahertz. 
Is it worth it? No, not really. Is it cool? Absolutely. Does it show us how much potential it has? You betcha. So that's really what this video is for. So if two FPS is worth it to you, go for it. If the extra cooling is worth it to you, then go for it. But do remember, this is going to wreck your warranty. So I saved something for you all. Um, you know, I know how people feel about the peels right here. So I saved this for you all. I'm going to move over. Listen, and we'll do, we'll do the peel. So here it is, the peel. Let's go ahead and ready. There you go. Got that peel for you. Look at how good this system looks. This is what it could have been in ZXT. This is what it could have been. I think it looks a lot better now than what it did. I didn't do as good of a job as the NZXT guys, but hey, no problem. That's still, it's still a sweet looking PC. If I do any other upgrades to it, you know, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll let y'all know. I'll keep in touch. Listen, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy the videos and um, keep coming back, you know, keep it real. IT, like keep big I, big T, real. You get it? But listen, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love all y'all. Y'all stay safe out there.